PG&E is facing a manslaughter trial over its role in the 2020 Zog fire that killed four people. The felony and voluntary manslaughter charges have some wondering what does that mean for the utility, for victims and for customers. Investigative reporter Julie Watts is getting answers. If these are not the first manslaughter charges for PG&E, so we do have a history to look back on for those answers. And while PG&E has faced criminal charges several times over the last decade, there's only been one recent trial, although it does look like PG&E will now be going back to court. Flames fueled by natural gas shooting 100 feet into the air, incinerating a neighborhood and killing six people. The 2010 San Bruno PG&E gas line explosion led to a criminal trial. The utility fought the charges, but was ultimately convicted on six felony counts, received a $3 million maximum fine, five years probation, and 10,000 hours of community service. Nearly a decade later, they would face manslaughter charges again, this time for the 2018 campfire. But this time, instead of a trial, PG&E acknowledged fault and pleaded guilty to 84 felony counts of involuntary manslaughter and received the maximum fine of $4 million and five years probation again. PG&E then replaced its CEO in 2021 and again acknowledged fault last year for the Kincaid and Dixie fires, avoiding a trial and criminal charges, saying they're committed to making it safe and making it right for homeowners when they reached a $55 million settlement with six counties for the two fires combined. But this time with the Zog fire, it's different. The judge threw out 20 of the 31 charges and PG&E insists it's not guilty of the remaining 11, saying in a statement, we accept Cal Fire's determination that a tree falling into our power lines caused the fire. However, we believe PG&E did not commit any crimes adding they believe their tree crews and contractors were working in good faith. The DA would have to prove PG&E was negligent to win at trial, and it does look like this one will go to trial. A bottom line, company executives do not face criminal charges. At most, the company could face a few million dollars in fines and be ordered to take some corrective action. pg e has already paid civil settlements to victims in the Zog fire. The judge is expected to set a trial date on the 15th.